Hey everyone, it's Lisa Marie Todd and welcome to An Appetizing Life. I'm excited, we've got a lot of people in the house again. Woo! Oh, you hear the hair there? What was that? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> there they are. Oh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> and Mike's here with me, switching the program back and forth. Hello, Hello Mike. Hi. Yes, Magic Mike is in the house. Um, I'm going to get right to things because I've got some cooking to do. It's going to be a fun show today, a very tasty show. So, girls, introduce yourselves. Hi. Hi, I'm Mary Valley Broussard. I'm here waiting for your questions and your comments, so chime on in. Hi, I'm Rosie DeCandia, and I'm here to eat some good food. Hello, Italian <laughs> from Jersey needs to eat. I needs to eat. <laughs> Hey, and I'm Claudia. It's my birthday today. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yay. Hey. Those are so sweet. So, you know, it's going to be a party today, right, girl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to get right to it. Sadly, today, there is no cocktail because I'm doing Agent Mike. You look sad. <laughs> well, um, I'm doing an Asian inspired theme of uh, food today, and I tried a cocktail which was good but I didn't like it with this so I just thought I'd go to the old standby of a nice cold sweet Riesling mm. so uh, here you have it <laughs> so easy Yay. I opened it up because the girls are drinking it it's a Chateau Ch Saint Michel and I'm going to pour this for myself and girls cheers, cheers. 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 So I know you need a little nibble. So I took the yes. Oh, gotta get right good. to the food. I like. So that. today I, you know, we love edamame with Asian inspired food, Ooh, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yum yes. yum. So I decided to um, do this little mixture of fresh edamame, and pull up the recipe. I'll show you what surprise I put in on this. A little surprise. <laughs> so it's a roasted edamame with a Chinese five spice. And um, I love the Chinese five spice because you can do all kinds of great things with that. So all it is is the edamame, some olive oil, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, and a little extra to sprinkle on top, and a teaspoon of the Chinese five spice, which I have in my hand here. La, la, la. There it is. And I just roasted this for 30 minutes on 425 degrees and stirred it around a little bit. And there you have it. That's it. Oh, and I'm going to bring this over to you guys. Ooh. So you have some nibbles I while, while I cook. Thank you so much. You're welcome, dear. Got wow, it. Wow, that looks good. Got there it. you go. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess I could have brought a, a little plate. plate or something. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, I'm Italian. We don't care. <laughs> we ain't formal. Sorry. We ain't formal. <laughs> we ain't formal. <laughs> no, uh. Well, I tasted it. It was yummy. Okay, there. You, you, guys, you guys can work that out. There we go. <laughs> okay. five spice. So, hey, if you're wondering what the five spice looks like, it comes in this little thing here. This is Sun Luck. And, uh, you know, it's gluten free. Yay, gluten free. Oh, yeah. All natural. And you can find it in the Asian section of your supermarket. I'm not plugging it. I just. Tell me where to buy it. <laughs> so, what do we have on tap today? Oh my goodness! Uh, if you saw my Instagram, I had bok choy out there um, up on my Instagram post, and they just look so delicious. So I was like, I have to make something with it. So I decided. Um, Mike and I were talking, and we both love salmon, but I'm kind of tired of roasting it, and it's the same thing over and over. So. Um, I love steaming things, so I thought, why not try a French way of preparing things, which is very, very easy. And I'm going to pull up the recipe for this, because I'm going to sneak over to the uh, refrigerator, too. Mm -hmm. So it's an Asian salmon and vegetable papillote. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, you can totally call me out on it. But friends, what does that really mean? It's salmon and vegetables and parchment paper. Oh. <laughs> That's what it is. So um, I mixed a, have a mixture of uh, gar two garlic cloves, two scallions that are thinly sliced, a teaspoon of ginger, uh, a teaspoon of reduced sodium tamari, and I will show you that because that's really important which kind you get with that. Um, two teaspoons of rice vinegar, two teaspoons of mirin, uh, kosher salt and pepper, 
three bok choy, baby bok choy, if you can find them, two carrots julienne, which I will show you how I did that, four shiitake mushrooms, thinly sliced, four salmon fillets, parchment paper, and a teaspoon of vegetable oil. So when I'm all said and done, this is what the little packets are going to look like. And I'm going to put these in the oven and let them roast for about 12 minutes. And then we're going to bust them open and you'll have your meal. We're going to bust a move, bust a move on it. So I'm going to sit back there for right now. Now the tamari, this is really important. Today's like a, today's a lesson day. A lesson. <laughs> I'm educating folks today. Today, but not tomorrow. But not tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> so this is an organic tamari sauce. Um, it's gluten-free. It's a gluten-free soy sauce, basically. And I got the reduced sodium because I didn't want to have, I would like to control my salt. Mm -hmm. And I always talk about your salt intake and all that. We so, I appreciate that. I, honestly, thank you. Yeah. I, you know, I have family members that have blood, high blood pressure. I have to watch myself too. So, although they're saying studies now that salt may not be the cause, the culprit, who knows? Everything's bad. Everything's good. Who knows? So, how did I get to this? Well, first we're gonna have an arts and crafts day. Are you guys so excited? Yay! Are you, I'm crafty. I'm very crafty. So I'm starting with this paper, and I'm folding it in half. And I already took the liberty of making a little drawing, so I'm making like, I'm going to make a little heart. So I'm going to take my scissors, which I put back in my drawer, and I'm just going to cut this into the shape, and you'll see why I decided to do it this way. Isn't this fun? It's like, so it's like fun. kindergarten. <laughs> and you know, if you have kids and they want to help you in the kitchen, they could totally do this, and I'm sure they would love it. But since my kid is 21 <laughs> and knows how to use scissors, so I don't have to watch her. Anyway, I'm going to open this up and ta-da, voilà. a heart. A heart. Perfect heart. And that's a perfect time to say, Kevin Weaver's here. And he hey. Says, Hello, friends. Hello, hey, friends. Hi, Hello, Kevin. Kevin. Hi, Kevin. I'm hey, Kevin. How are you? Mom. See my heart? I'm crafty, too. Yay. I'm a crafty girl. So that's, we're going to do that. Now before I get to, I don't want to pull out the fish yet. I want to show you how I julian the carrot. And I'm only going to do half of one. So I'm going to take the ends off. Oh, my little, my little thing there. And this is what it looks like at the end. So I'm going to cut that. Now, a little trick, because this is very roly-poly. It's going to roll. I'm trying to catch it, blah, blah, blah. So you need to establish a side that will be flat. Now I can work, right? Now you can work, right? So I'm just going to do that on all four sides. And you know, not to waste, you could certainly use this in juice if you wanted to. So now, yes, exactly, or my carrot ginger what do I make? A carrot ginger apple juice. That's oh, really oh, delicious. Wow. Anyway, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to make little slices. So now you've got that. And all you're going to do is go in again. One, two, three. Mm. There you have. Look at that. So you can use this technique with potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, making your own french fries. They would be a little bit bigger, obviously. But that's how I got to that in there. Perfect. Easy, right? Yay. And it wasn't rolling around. You weren't chasing it. It didn't hit Mike in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> nothing bad. Nothing, nothing bad, bad happened. happened. No. So let me grab the fish because I'm going to show you how to do this. So here is my fish. It's a salmon. Salmon is so good. To, yes. And this is a really colorful meal today. I'm going to put a little bit of salt on there because it's all about layering your flavors as you go along. We're going to take the heart. I hope I don't knock anything over. I'm going to open the heart out, up and I'm just going to sit it there for now. Open heart surgery. Open heart surgery. <laughs> yes, it's open heart surgery day. So I already did the little sauce because I had to prepare uh, the other three. So I'm just going to pour that in there. And I'm going to let these get a little bit of the sauce on them. And again, it's all about layering. So I'm just going to mix that around. I'm bringing it in front of the camera. Just to, you know, let those sauces get on the vegetables. Okay. Then we're going to take our bok choy. Bok choy. 
and I'm just going to sit that, I'm going to turn it this way, like that, in there. And I have one more piece I'm actually going to slice, because it's kind of big. And you put, actually want to get everything on one side of the heart. You want to get everything on one side of the heart. So you, there's a guideline. So you've got that split right there. Ah. I want to put everything there, and I want to leave room around here. Don't put it on the very edge because you won't be able to fold it like I'm about to show you. So then we're going to come in and we've got our little vegetables that I just quickly put into the little sauce. I don't want to call it a marinade because marinade means it's going to sit for a bit. But this is going to help in the steaming process for the fish and for everything else. Make it, really flavorful. Make it flavorful all the way through and nice and moist. Then I'm going to come in and take my fish, and I'm going to sit it on top. Ooh, 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 so good. Like that and fresh. So truly, the food is made with love. It is. Wrapped in a heart. It's made with love. Yeah. Wrapped in a heart. Yes. A heart full of food. <laughs> That's what There we go. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of that sauce on there, because all that yumminess is going to steam in there. Let me wash my hands really quickly here. Before I start folding, and let me move this out of my way because I feel crowded. I don't want to be crowded. Okay, there you have your heart. You guys can see what's happening, right? You ready? The magic is about to happen. Make sure my hands are dry. Are we ready? We're ready. You sure you're ready? I'm going to fold the heart in half. Like that. And make sure it's scooted in there. And then I'm going to fold like that and fold it again and mash that down and fold it again. Seal. I'm creating a seal. Very good, Mary. Thank you. You get a gold star today. So I'm just going to follow that around. <laughs> it did sound really creepy, guys. We're going to follow that around. Now, some people... When they get to the end here, as I'm getting to, I'm going to make sure that's in there, will put their sauce in this little hole right here. I just chose to let it, yeah, to do it. But certainly you could do it that way. And fold it around and around and around. And I'm going to kind of tuck it. It's like what? An empanada. It is like an empanada. Absolutely. And I'm just going to smash it around, make sure it's okay. Mm -hmm. Although that little piece seems to be not oh, obey me. What the, heck? what the heck? Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. Oh, I'm not. Oh, no. I was going to take some olive oil. Mike, did you steal my olive oil? Of course, Mike stole my olive oil. Oh, oh. Magic Mike's getting ready for the next performance. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Hello. <laughs> I'm just going to brush this on, and all this is going to do, oh, it's going to act like a, <laughs> it'll act like a little bit of glue, and it will um, kind of crisp this up, brown it, make it kind of pretty. So we're going to, all we're going to do is take the packet and stick it on there and add these there. I think they'll all fit. Well, we're going to make them fit. So you don't have to do the bottom, just, just the top. Just the top. Yeah. There we go. Right. That's going to go in into the oven, like I said, for uh, 400 degrees for about 12 minutes. So I'm going to pop them in right now. Wow. And you'll know they're done because they're going to puff up. Oh. Like poof. And so I'm going to start my little handy dandy timer so I know what's going on. Timer. I love that timer. They do, but I'm not cooking blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> but is that the fish that they it does serve it like raw? Pumps up and, yeah, and you're not is. supposed to eat it. It's, it's yes, yeah. yes, but I'm not doing that. Yeah, we're not I, doing I, that. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not that. that. I'm not that advanced yet. <laughs> so while that's cooking, I'm going to move on to the next dish, which there's is more. There's, uh, more. there's more. Of course, there's more. there's more. So I've done a black fried rice. Oh. Now. This is a black fried rice that's really healthy. I did not put egg in it. Oh. I chose not to. You don't. Did you miss it, Mike? No. The egg. You you don't, you're not going to miss the egg. So it's just that's even better for you. But let's talk about black rice for a moment. Look at it. It's kind of purple, kind of black. 
this rice back in the day, I mean way, way back in the day, back in ancient, <laughs> ancient Chinese time, <laughs> way back in the day, this was like this was like the food of the gods or the food of foods of the emperors. Wow. And so they thought it had so many health benefits and you know, this was their food to eat. And so it's come back around. You see it at restaurants all the time now. Um, and I love it. It's filled with antioxidants and vitamin C and just all this good stuff. So this meal today can't get any healthier. You've got the salmon going on in there. You've got this black rice that, ha you know, has all of this it, just good stuff going on. All of these vegetables. Look how colorful. Yes. Like, this is a colorful yes. day. Picture perfect. <laughs> Picture perfect. So good. So, um... So we're going to make, if Mike will pull up the recipe for me, Mike, Mike. So this black fried rice goes really fast. It's, um, I have two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can certainly use coconut oil if you want to. I'm just using the vegetable. One cup of carrots that I diced, one small onion chopped, one and a half cups of snap peas sliced, three scallions chopped, or two or three, I think I did two actually. Um, one tablespoon of ginger that is minced, one cup of shiitake mushrooms, stems removed and sliced. I actually chopped them up to keep the bite sizes. Uh, three cups of black rice cooked, and that's really easy to cook. Um, and I will have the instructions for how to do that, or it's on the bag too. Two teaspoons of sesame oil, and two teaspoons of tamari. And I am going to move over to, hold on, hold on before you cut over there because I'm rummaging around. Okay, I'm over here. Hi. I'm here. If you guys have any questions, let me know as I'm going along, girls. Anything? I have a question. Yes. I just want to know how does the rice get black? What makes it black? It rice? is naturally black. I looked that it's up because I was black. curious. And I so it is, it, it grows that way. Um, it grows and black. there's a great book. I'm, actually, I'll put it on the website that's all about rice. Like, because oh. I love rice. I'm like a rice freak. I love, I love all rice. kinds of rices. So it's just interesting to see the process of, you know, the different rices that came about and evolved. Mm, and this one, uh, reason, part of the reasons it's, it's black, think about um, eggplants or right. uh, blueberries, oh, all those. Right those vegetables and fruit that have a lot of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting the name, I apologize, but there's a name, a word for that. That is in this rice and it's heavily in this rice and that is part of the reason why it has that purplish color. So, uh, I did do my homework, yay! yay. You get a gold star. Yeah. I get a gold star. Hey. So I am going to put the oil in and this is gonna go pretty fast. I'm going to start with, I have about a medium high heat, I don't want to get it too hot, too fast. I'm going to start with my onion, onion. and my carrots, and I just want to soften these. Get these softened and let them go and just kind of shake it up a bit. Yes. No, no, no. The sesame oil is going to go at the end for the flavoring. I just have vegetable oil. But like I said, you could use the coconut oil that doesn't have the coconut flavor to it. If you don't want to do that, um, just an oil that you know works well with a high heat. So that's what we want. It's going to start to smell really good in here, really fast. <laughs> Oh, how's the edamame? It's Are you enjoying so that? Good. I'm not going to lie. It's so good. Yay. It's amazing. And it looks it's like good. shelled pistachio nuts. <laughs> it's, it's, really it's really cool. <laughs> it does. It does. That's so funny. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. So good. It's real. And this meal, again, Mike and I were talking, this meal is really, it's another meal you can do weeknight. You could do it weekends for friends. And again, you're not, you know, hovering over the stove and trying to yeah. do it. It takes a while to prep, but... You can chop, and this is a good, these are great recipes to work on your knife skills because you've had to julienne the carrots for the, for the salmon, and then you have to dice the carrots for this. And one more thing, I'm just plugging all this. One more thing, I'm reusing a lot of ingredients in both of these uh, dishes. So you know how you, you do an Asian meal or you do a meal that's specific and you get that one ingredient that you use this much of? and then it sits in your cabinet. Well, I'm yeah. trying to reuse a lot of this over and over again, so nothing gets wasted, you know? So, um, 
that was my goal today with this with this meal. Wow, it smells good already. Yes. <laughs> you can make with your kids. You know, yes, get it the totally is. And Absolutely. To be right. Yeah, you get everybody in the kitchen and assign mm -hmm. chopping duties if they're old enough, shopping you know, to, to, to wield a knife. <laughs> um, it, yeah, it's it. this is like a fun meal or just having friends over, you know. I like to put people to work in my kitchen. I like to stand back and point. <laughs> yeah, I love several sous chefs. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm not really the cooking kind of girl. You're not the cooking kind of girl? No, kind of girl. I'm the eating kind of girl. My parents are from Italy. They do the cooking. <laughs> I just do the eating. Thank you very much. It's That's called being so the funny. Italian princess. Okay. <laughs> That's how I roll. Go, Rosie. So I this is that. getting nice. It's softening up. We're ready to add more color. Yeah, you, can smell it. you can smell it already? Yeah. So now, more colors coming in. Oh, Rosie, look at this. Woo! It's a rainbow. I'm, I'm, yes. So now I, I'm adding in red bell pepper. And this red pe bell pepper, it's organic, but it's super red. It's really beautiful. I got very excited when I bought it. <laughs> I was like, ah, it's so beautiful. The difference in the colors of the peppers is when you pick them. You like, mean at the time uh, that you pick them? The time, the time you pick them. Is that yeah. true? I do believe that's true. That's but what I don't oh, wow. quote me, because I don't want anybody so writing me. <laughs> so is, wait, is it well, the last stage? Yeah, like green, green is obviously the green. in the show. Green. Yeah. You know what? I'll look it up and find out when the show is over, and I will post it. How's that? Google that. Google it. Google it. Google it all. Don't ask. Let's ask Siri. Okay, now we're ready for another color. All right. Yet another color. It is snap pea time. Oh, I, I couldn't like I couldn't resist. So we're gonna throw those in there now. Bring it all. Yes. Snap -pea. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna have a snap pea commercial when I was doing this. But look at the colors, guys. Oh my god, come on. Oh, beautiful. And it smells so good. It smells amazing. Like, who doesn't want to eat all these beautiful colors? If you look at my Instagram, I'm all about color. I love colorful food and you know, this again, this is easy to do. So we're going to let that cook a little bit. Cook a little bit. And I'm going to check on the, where are we at? We've got three more minutes, about three and a half minutes before the fish is going to be done. So this is going to time out pretty well, which is nice. So we're letting that cook. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my mushrooms. And if you remember, I used these shiitakes in the, in the fish. So I'm using it again. That's what I was talking about. Let's not have so many things that don't get used. So I'm just going to stir that up, give it a little shake. That's actually not my shaking arm. <laughs> so we'll let that go. And we're going to let that cook a little bit. I'm waiting to add in my scallions last because I don't... I don't want them to burn up. Uh, this does, dish does not have garlic because I put the garlic in the fish. I, I didn't want it to be too garlicky. So garlic is great. So again, think about all of these ingredients I've put into this meal, you know? I know. It's my giant pan. Well, that's why I say this isn't even my lifting arm. I usually use the right. Who needs to go to the gym? You just lift heavy pots. <laughs> that's like what my... Uh, with the, the cast iron skillet. So oh funny. God, I love, that's, so, that's a great weapon. I love cooking with cast iron skillets because you can use it on the stove top and put it in, in the, the oven. oven. I love it. Yeah, I don't know about that. I just oh, think it's a good I weapon if someone intrudes. Oh. <laughs> or if there's someone at your dinner table you having a conversation with and they've said something wrong, get that cast iron thing <laughs> and just hit them in the head. <laughs> Woo! Oh well, I don't know what happened. Woo! And then stir them Exactly, and stir them up fricassee. Right. Okay, fricassee. you eat the evidence. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not like responsible that. for That's that. We Italian didn't. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I know nothing. Time for the scallions to go in. Throw those in there. More color. More good stuff. Yes. I'm about chakras. Like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm all about the chakras. Make sure they're aligned. And That's balanced. so funny. Okay. I need to learn more about that. All right. So now we're gonna add in the tamari. 
already. Used that before, didn't I? So I'm going to throw that in there. And then your sesame oil is going to give it that little taste that Mike was trying to figure out. What the heck did you put in there? The sesame oil. So I'm putting that in last. And now you guys are going to start smelling. Not you guys watching, but you guys are going to start smelling this. And start wafting over to you. And I'm just going to let this cook a little bit. Give it a little shake, shake, shake. Shake your veggies. I can't shake, shake your that. veggies. Uh, uh, shake, 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 uh, shake, shake, shake. All right, it, so here it comes. Look at all this prettiness. Look at all this beautiful greens and orange and reds. I mean, who doesn't want to eat this? Now I'm going to make it a little sexy. Do you know what this rice is also called? Forbidden rice. Forbidden rice. It's forbidden rice. Now, the first time I, I had this, I was at a restaurant, and I asked the girl, what is this? And she said, I cannot tell you. It is forbidden. For real? <laughs> so did. Of course, I went on the internet and found it. Is but it an aphrodisiac? No, it is not. Oh, Ooh. It can be anything. Wait, to before it's anything can be. Right Hold on. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to put the rice on. Get that in there so that can warm up. And then I'm going to take the fish out. But look at this. So now you see you can start to see how purple black this is. We're gonna mix that in. Look at that. Woo! Yum! Yum! I cannot wait to eat. <laughs> I will sing for my supper if I have I will to. Sing for my... So do you make that rice just like regular rice? Yes. So yeah. how you make the rice, it's really easy. It's about a cup and three quarters of water with a little bit of salt. Oops, I'm just not breaking things. A little bit of salt and uh, a cup of rice. Let that boil, bring it to boil, let it go down to a simmer, cover for 30 minutes. 30 take, minutes. take it off the heat, do not open it, let it sit for five to seven minutes, wow. and then open it and fluff it. Wow. All right. Don't make any comments. <laughs> the forbidden rice. I can do that. <laughs> I didn't say anything, I just fluffed the forbidden rice. Yeah. So look, that's it, look at that. that looks that's all there is to it, you guys. So I'm going to turn this off the heat because I need to go to the fish. Because it's time for the fish surprise, right? So let's get that. There it is. I'm going to put something down here. Yes! Fish! Yes! Okay. Okay, so here we go. That even looks juicy. It is juicy. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So you want to be really careful when you go in here. All right. Because steam is going to rise up. Is that 12 minutes already? Yes. Wow. That's amazing. So I'm just going to lift this. I'm going to make a poke a little hole. I'm going to cut it across. Oh, this is hot. I feel it. And cut it across this way. I'm sorry, I'm getting off camera, but I'm trying to do this right. You're good. And down, and that way. Nice. And then we're just going to pop that open and look at that. What? Oh, my, oh my God. God. Perfection. Beautiful. Yeah. There you go. That's all there is to it. So let me do two more to serve you guys. Oh, thank you. Are you so excited? Yes. <laughs> Are you, how excited are you? Are you really excited? <laughs> Salmon is one of my favorite foods that I love. <laughs> so let's open that up. Oh my gosh. Woo! I'm excited. I'm excited. We had some of this for lunch. Because I always make, oh. make every, <laughs> Mike's shaking his head. You guys I always, well, we have to because I have to get everything photographed. And I didn't, I was out of town yesterday, so I couldn't do it. So I'm going to serve these to you. It's really good. And, um, it's pretty tasty. Oh my God. And look at that. Look at all the juice that's coming out of there. Juices. So let me bring one over. There's one there. Gracias. Oh my God, that looks so good. And bring another one. It's like a surprise. There you go. Merci beaucoup. Ah, yes. Toy Man, Toy Man. Toy Man, Toy Man. 
Bon appetit. Bon appetit, people. Oh. Bon appetit. Oh my god. I'm trying to be polite. And they're it's don't, intoxicating. Don't, you don't have to Go be polite. Oh my god. I was trying to wait on Claudia, but. <laughs> and I'll bring the salt because I'm never offended if you need salt. Thank I you. totally Hi, understand. There you go. I'm an undersalter. Oh my gosh, Lisa, oh my this is so good. Yay! It's so good. It's so Hooray. moist and I'm tasty. like sticking my face in it because I just love the aroma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh my gosh. Of course, I mm-hmm. did not. It's so good. So, while you guys, oh, hello, this is heavy. So good. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to pour this in. <laughs> you know what? Oh Hold on. God. I'll be here all day. So good. So good. Right, right? Mm. Why don't I just do this? Oh, mm. you make this. Okay, the, what? Stay on the girls eating while I make Sorry my mess. Sorry, you can't taste this because this, this is, is so, so good. Yeah. Mm. I knew this was going to be a good day. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Oh, my mm. goodness. Mm. I'm almost oh my there. God. And the little Very shiitake tasty. mushrooms and the carrots are perfect. And so the, all that Stop. sauce that I put on there to begin with got into the shiitake mushrooms, correct? And so, you know, I'm almost ready to come back. Okay. And there is the other. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There. So there's this. Look at that. There's your rice. Oh, my God. That's just like a salad. It looks like a salad. Bless you, honey. <laughs> it looks like a salad. So now this is the little side that goes with that. Mm. You're going to repeat some of the flavors so it's all going to mix oh. in together and be really yummy. And, girls, here you go. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my God. There you go. Oh, my God. Yay. And the yeah. carrots wow. still are crunchy, which I love. Yes. They need to be a little bit of crunchy. I don't perfect. want to be salt. Now, you could, so if you wanted to blanch so them before, mm-hmm. You could certainly blanch your vegetables before, but I figure the steam in there just kind of gets to everything. It was fine, right? Yeah. When we did it, yeah. So, are you guys enjoying it? Yay! Well, I don't stop. I haven't come up for That's hilarious. This is a really fast day, but I'm not done. What? I'm not done. We're not done? No. No, I'm not done. Mr. Mike. Oh, it's here. I moved it. <laughs> Magic. It's true. <laughs> so, no. So, I, I keep turning away. It's somebody's birthday today. I had to make, I had to make something. <laughs> I made cupcakes. So, I made for you, in the Asian-inspired theme of today, I did a vanilla bean cupcake with matcha green tea buttercream icing. So I'm going to light these up for you just because it's your birthday. Oh my god, I'm so glad it's your birthday. And I wanted to do something special. We have to sing. I love cupcakes. And we're going to sing. Love cupcakes, my favorite. We're going to sing, sing, sing. They're beautiful. Thank you. It's a very... Hold on, I'm taking one out. This will be faster. It's a very spring-like thing. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. They what were a surprise. I don't I don't get to make cupcakes that often now that my daughter's grown up and gone away. <laughs> so I have to make it for friends. Oh my fellow Aries twin over there. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, there we go. I'm a Libra, so September. And hopefully I don't burn this out. But there they are. We're getting an overhead shot of them. Yay! Aren't they cute? They're beautiful. So ready? I'm ready. Do you want to put it there? I'm so ready. Ready? Go ahead. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Claudia. Happy birthday. They're so cute. Those are like the You're cutest beautiful. cupcakes I've ever seen in my life. So that's the all for the show yeah. today. Yeah. It was a fast show today. That's but fast. Oh it was God. it was very fast. Um, but so. so you see, this is like something really easy and simple you guys can do. And Claudia, yeah. after the show is over, Ooh, got a little booth. Yeah. We'll pop that later. 
but you guys thank you again for watching it's been fun um please try this recipe let me know how it went for you and you can find me on the various social media outlets like i say every week the uh, facebook instagram twitter youtube pinterest oh and you can email me <laughs> I forgot about email. No, please email me because I want to try other people's recipes. Or you know, if you happen to be in the LA area, and you're not a you know you're not crazy, <laughs> you can come on the show. <laughs> Just saying. Just but anyway, saying. Uh, thank you again. This is always so much fun. And I thank you, girls over there. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. Yay! Delicious. Yay! Thank you. And I will see you all next week. Have a fantastic week and uh, enjoy the weekend, whatever that means. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.